All right, everybody, so we just received two brand new F-150s from Fiesta Ford. Um, they were actually replacing, we're retiring one of our old units, uh, Ford Ranger. We're retiring that one, and then we are adding a new battery unit. So that'll be four battery units, four plaza towing, and then one uh, RV service truck that can also do that as well. Um, reasons for that is we have a influx in battery sales, and we need to cater to that market. So yeah, we got two brand new F-150s. Pretty excited about that. Let's go ahead and uh, take a closer look. All right, before we show you the F-150s, here's the Ranger that we are replacing. Been a good truck, but the downside is it can't hold as many batteries as the F-150, and we need to hold as many batteries as possible to stay efficient. So we are retiring this unit, and then we're gonna move on to the F-150s. What's up? All right, here's the inside of the F-150. It's pretty nice. I mean, it's not fully loaded, but it's got all the amenities. Power windows, power mirrors, um, electronic locks. Let's see what else we got in here. Electronic parking brake, lights, light controls. Looks like we got a, uh, you can turn the lights on on the pickup bed back there. Fog lights, and then cruise control. Literally has no miles, 8.3 miles. Pretty actually uncommon for dealer vehicles. Usually they have like 100 or something. Um, and then over here to the radio section, we got just standard radio, uh, FM, AM, FM, all your, um, your AC controls down here. You got a USB port down here, a cigarette lighter here. What's it got for a motor? It's got a V6 in it. It's okay. The, uh... Let's take a look. Uh, no, they aren't the EcoBoost. 3.3. It's a 3.3 .3 liter. 3.3 liter V6. Man, that coolant tank is right there. Yeah. It's like. They're pretty. They're set up pretty nice. Yeah. I nice. see they did go with the uh, big battery, bigger battery, like a H5 or H. Oh yeah, it's probably an H5 instead of the 65. Some of the other amenities we have, looks like we have some sort of fold down. Yeah, so we have fold down seat here with cup holders. Uh, nice actually place to fit your phone here. And then somehow I'm thinking you can open, maybe you can't. Okay, just some general storage back here. Just some general storage back here. There is a floor jack back here and some miscellaneous tools. So pretty nice. And then here's the bed. Nothing special about that. It's got the long bed. It's another shot of the bed. So yeah, some of the things that we're actually gonna have to do to this, we're gonna have to add our shop radio. We're gonna have to add a camera into our camera, si our camera system. We're gonna have to put that on there. Um, and some miscellaneous things. We're obviously gonna, we're gonna have to add a bed, um, a, like cover, a canopy to house all the batteries and we're gonna have to put air compressor and all the things necessary to serve our customers. So yeah, you guys might be able to see that process as we build this truck up. So yeah. Okay, new feature, what is it? Uh, we got the auto start stop feature, it's buttoned right here. Uh, it shuts the engine off when you pull up to a stoplight or stop sign and as soon as you let off the brake, uh, the vehicle will restart and take off on your way. Imagine that increases fuel efficiency. Yeah, that's, that's probably what it shows here. Yeah. Uh, fuel consumption and improved fuel economy. Hmm. Interesting. We'll have to see how that works. Yeah. I've never had a vehicle with that. I wonder if the, uh, if like the AC still runs and... I imagine it would. Cool. Like I the hybrids almost? Yeah, I imagine so. All right, Noah found the compartment that I was looking for. Under That's the middle a seat. A lot of storage. Is yeah, there any like connections in there or anything? Um, no, doesn't no. look like there's no USB or anything, but. Yeah, I saw the USB yeah, over there. Yeah, right here, and then I think, yeah, it's just a cigarette lighter. Awesome. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Another little feature that we got here is the backup camera. Nice little amenity, pretty standard on most cars now nowadays, but it's awesome to have, especially when we're gonna have the tunnel cover on top of the uh, bed there. Okay, so in vlog number one, we were dealing with the cable on our Landol. Um, they, basically there was a misconfusion, a uh, misunderstanding on what we needed. They sent us a 5 eighths cable, which is what we needed. 
with a half inch chain, but they sent us 5 eighths chain. Uh, so we took that off and we tried to make it work, but we didn't have the parts. So we had to get with the distributor, have them send us the right stuff. So we got the right stuff. We have half inch chain um, and then we have half inch hammer lock and a half inch hook. So we're gonna put it all together and I don't know if we're gonna put the cable on today, but we're gonna at least get it ready and prepared to put it on the white landle. Okay, so first things first, we need the cable end. So let's go ahead and, well, I guess we don't need it right this second. Um, first, what we can do is we can put the hook on. So we got the half inch chain here. Um, and then we got the hook. So here's the hook. Let's go ahead and take it out of its package. All right, so we got the hook, and then we got two pins that we're gonna have to drive in, and this lock here. So, let's see what we can do here. I'm gonna situate it like this in the vise so that it's clamped down and I can hit it into place. Actually, I need to put the lock in first. So, let's take our half inch chain and line it up. And then we're just gonna put this lock through. Okay. Now what we can do is lock it down. Okay, now we can just take these pins that we have and drive them in. So let's get a hammer. All right, got a hammer. So we're just gonna take these pins here and we're just gonna take these pins here and drive them in. I forget the name of these, but they're basically friction holds them in. Okay, there's one. All right, and here's the second. Cool. We'll inspect that really quick. So, looks pretty good. You can see they're all driven in. We got our chain here. As you can see, we have a half inch hook for our half inch chain. Okay, now we gotta work on the hammer lock. So there's gonna be two sides to this equation. We're gonna have the chain end and the hook, or the cable end, and this is gonna be in the middle. So let's go ahead and open her up. All right, so we have this collar here, which has an arrow, and the arrow, if you guys saw on the last vlog, or the vlog number one, the arrow represents the way that you put it together. So we're gonna drive the pin uh, down through here. So, set that there. So we got the chain, the half inch chain, is gonna be on one end of this hammer lock. So let's go ahead and separate this hammer lock. Okay, so this is a half inch hammer lock, so it should fit right through this chain, which it does. So this is one end, just like so. And then now we need to take the cable end, so let's go ahead and get that. Okay, so we got the cable end here, just an eyelet. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach this through this end, just like so. Now we need to clamp these two ends together the other way, just like that. Then we need to we need to clamp one end in. So we'll clamp this side in like so without. Okay, so that's in. So the main thing about when you clamp it is that you cannot have any 
pressure clamping this collar in because it's required to spin and do its thing to allow this to be driven in. So we line up the holes, put that there. Now we got to put the collar in the right orientation. So like I said, the arrow, if you guys can see that, there's an arrow there. You need to orient that facing down, line it all up. You should just be able to give this a smack and it'll go down. Might need to tighten the vise up just a touch. Just gotta do that. Okay. There it goes. Boom. That is locked in. Perfect. So as you can see, it swivels here, and then we have our half inch chain. So we're gonna loosen it, inspect it, make sure it is all fine and dandy. Which it is. So as you can see, cable to hammer lock, half inch chain to half inch hook. Here's the final product. So now we gotta put this 75 feet of uh, 5 eighths cable on the landle. Don't know if we're gonna do that today. I need to see if I have some manpower here to help me with that because it's a two person job. So. Let's find out. Dun, 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 What you doing? All right, so Bill is on his way here with the Dodge um, self-loader with a lean sail car that was in that lineup. So what happens is cars over there are on uh, basically waiting for the owner to be pick pick them up and once they're clear of that lot meaning that the owner's not going to come pick them up then they come to this lineup here um, which is the cars that are for sale um, we don't really have anything good right now but this is the lineup so that's why you're going to see them without any straps or stuff like that because it's literally just going from that lineup around the yard to this lineup so uh yeah let's see what he's bringing us Another. 